This is Experiment 23, Reflection and Absorption of Light, that's found in Earth Science with Vernier. Since reflection is an important topic in science, we also have a version of this lab in Middle School Science with Vernier and Physical Science with Vernier. In this specific version, we're looking at two variables. We're looking at the reflection of light and the absorption of the heat caused by that light. To do that, we're making use of a Vernier light sensor and a Vernier temperature probe. To help position everything accurately, we put the temperature probe in a straw that's taped to the table so we can place that in location. And we have our, our light sensor supported with a ring stand over top of that. We'll take our paper that we're testing and place it there. Our object is to look at the different re, um, temperature reflectance and temperature absorption. We're going to go ahead and connect up our two probes. Our light sensor, which is already connected, has to be set to the 0 to 6,000 lux range. And we connect our temperature probe so we're ready to collect the data. We need to adjust the data collection rate, so we'll tap on the rate box. The rate, data collection rate we're looking for is one-tenth of a sample per second for equivalent of 10 seconds for, for each sample. Our length of our experiment is 600 seconds. Once we're ready, we'll turn the light on and press collect. Now that the first run's done, go ahead and turn off the light and then <clears throat> remove the paper. Allow the temperature probe to cool back down. That's important so we don't get any added heated effects from the first run. Now that we collected the data, we need to analyze it. We need to know what the average light intensity was and what the minimum and maximum temperatures were. To do that, we tap Analyze and use the Statistics tool. First for the light with the illumination. Now this average value will be used not on its own, but we'll find the reflectance of aluminum foil and use that to determine our relative intensity, assuming aluminum foil is 100% reflective. For the temperature, we again tap Analyze, choose Statistics, and with Temperature to get our minimum and maximum temperatures. Now to do the other colors, black and then aluminum foil, we'll hit tap store run and collect more data. In our second trial, we're going to use black. Once we're ready to go, turn your light source back on and again hit collect. Once you're done with the second trial, the third trial is going to be with aluminum foil. We use aluminum foil because that's going to be our reference. This is our surface that's 100% reflective. That's our assumption. So we run this experiment. And then we'll have all three that are required. Here's the results you get for all the different colors of paper. We can see from the results that white paper reflected more light and warmed up less. And black paper absorbed uh, more heat and warmed up more, but reflected less light. Interesting to try other paper colors. So when you deal with uh, white or yellow or green or blue, which ones reflect more and warm up more than the others. Keep in mind, when you're choosing your colors of paper, glossy paper and flat paper reflect very differently. It's a whole other experiment to investigate that. So try to control that variable by getting all the same types of paper.